but there's also like somebody like a Rupi Carr where you know it doesn't even matter like her poetry is not I would say not good it's bad uh actively bad but uh I'm not like I, I don't feel ill will towards her or anything I'm actually like good for her because she's making a lot of money and doing it her way like you, you just have to respect that I think when people don't or they pretend that they don't it is motivated by a jealousy or something else where it's like yeah because you want that you know and I think you know and you could get it it's right there for the taking you could do what she did she just was posting on instagram and tiktok and stuff until she got enough of a following where she could get a lot of money off book sales and stuff so you know anybody could do that <laughs> like it's just there for anybody and then it's just i don't know maybe when people are kind of jealous or something i think it's always more of kind of a reflection of themselves than than what somebody like a rupee car or a matt wall is doing and even Matt, I would think the people, some of the most of the stuff that he gets or, you know, haters or something that we call today that he would get are just people that are like, yeah, kind of jealous for the fact that he's able to publish his work and live off of it. That most institutional poets can't even do that. You know, they have to live off a spouse, have a teaching gig, something other than selling books, because with poetry, even in the big presses, you might get a big advance, but you're not getting any royalties unless you're a huge name. And I doubt even the biggest names are getting a lot of royalties. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's just the way it is.